Each child in lower school has a total of nine different teachers that they work with throughout the week. That includes their special instructors as well as their core classroom teachers. With that many adults in their lives, you know that the children are receiving that all-important one-on-one instruction that promotes a strong supportive relationship and a positive interaction between students and teachers. This relationship is one of the key elements to a child's success here. At it's actually 187 because I got 191, but we thought this was 160. Okay, so now you have 36 and 36, which is how much? 72. And plus your extra? Eight. And so 80. 80. We are very fortunate in last year we established a new model of having two fully credentialed co-teachers in both our kindergarten and first grade classrooms. Not only does this provide the expertise we need, it also allows us to individualize instruction for the 20 students in each of those grades. We have a very strong academic program in the lower school. Over the years, we've reviewed our curriculum so that we have a continuum of instruction in every one of the core areas, including our special classes of Spanish, art, music, and science. We also have opportunities for students to participate in other activities that support their academic growth. Our students in fourth and fifth grade participate in the countywide math Super Bowl. This provides students who have an interest in math to pursue it outside of the core instruction. We value the ability of students to become authors. At the end of their first grade year, students will read aloud to their audience a book that they have written, illustrated, and published all on their own. In both second and fourth grade, students participate in simulations through their immigration units, the ANZA expedition, and their gold rush simulations. Teachers have taken their core theme studies and allowed the students to step into those experiences firsthand. In the spring of 2008, we began a new program for our fifth grade students. We took the students to Boston, from Plymouth Plantation to Sturbridge Village, from MIT Museum to Fenway Park. The students were able to embrace the study of American history all in one place. One of the largest plumes you can find in California is the pismo plant. It can grow up to 7 inches. There are over 12,000 species of plants. The largest plume is the giant plant. In third grade, students have the opportunity to blend technology in the classroom study. While doing research on a tide pooled animal, students then have the opportunity to travel to Anacapa Island, where in small groups they work together to write, direct, film, and edit individual research videos showing their animal in its habitat. Each spring, the Lower School participates in a week-long thematic study called Lower School Spring Study Week. It really is the highlight of the Lower School experience for the students. The teachers select a theme and then create workshops for the students to attend. It offers the students the opportunity to immerse themselves in a topic by attending workshops that are presented through all different modalities. Past themes that we have explored include Australia, Japan, Ancient Greece, India, the Wild West, and Earthwalk, which focused on raising the awareness of student ecology. Once students leave the lower school, they are ready for anything that the upper school has to offer. The concept of experiential learning, hands-on opportunities, involvement in both core themes and technology is evidenced by the way students leave Crane and are able to be successful once they leave our green fields. <laughs>